What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here with today's Overwatch news. A lot of new information popping up this morning, so let's just jump right into it. First off, I want to talk about some harsher punishment for toxic players. I think a lot of people care about this issue. There's no denying that in this game, like any other online competitive game, there can be a toxic community that fosters. And really what's important is what the developer does to try to mitigate that and try to prevent it as much as possible from happening. So a thread came up basically talking about the abuse that someone felt like they were dealing with in the game that people can offend freely nobody is scared about the report system and it's only mentioned as a threat measure he went on to say that seriously anyone can offend moms and wish cancers freely in this game do they even check the reports or anything so jeff kaplan chimed in by saying we do please keep using the report functionality we're also in the process of reviewing our punishment policies with an eye towards getting more aggressive on toxicity and throwing and other bad behaviors so we've talked about about toxic behavior and and how it's just kind of a part of online competitive games it doesn't matter what online competitive game you play especially ones with larger fan bases larger communities you're gonna come across toxic behavior sooner or later especially in games that are focused on a team effort where it really is the case that you're reliant on your team members to succeed people like to put blame in other places and in the process they like to spout a lot of garbage basically and it's really something that is always going to be a part of the competitive environment so it's those policies that the developer puts in place whether they be community guided through feedback and report systems or self-monitored although that's nearly impossible in larger games with huge fan bases blizzard could never hire enough people to watch every game to see who's being toxic and decide to ban people as a result of that which is exactly why they rely on the reporting system and i think it's important to mention that because i feel like it's good to hear that blizzard is looking to take a a more firm stance on toxic behavior on on people throwing matches or just other bad behaviors that they don't want in their game but again keep in mind that it, we play a large role in that process because if we don't report people who are doing things that we think are bad for the game bad for the community then blizzard's really never going to know now the next story is actually talking about the feedback with the recent event so in the last video we mentioned that this event was hands down the most expensive out of all all the events almost double the cost in credits if you were to try to purchase every item in this event than the past events that we've had there was also a Forbes article recently that pointed out the fact that there are not enough hours in the day to grind for all of the skins in this event and there has been post after post on the official forums on reddit complaining about the loot box system as a whole uh, talking about the meager amount of credits that you get for duplicates asking for double experience weekends there's been a lot of feedback and Jeff once again came up to say that they're listening they are listening to this feedback he said I just wanted to acknowledge that we've been following the threads about the loot box rewards as they pertain to the anniversary events other events and loot boxes in general the feedback and suggestions have been helpful to us we had a really great discussion yesterday about the feedback we've been hearing this week while I don't have any immediate action items to report I thought it was important for you to know that we are listening he went on to say that please feel free to continue your discussion Discussion about loot boxes, anniversary cosmetics, and everything, and thanks us for our thoughts. There's been a lot of feedback about this particular event. Now, I talked a lot about my feelings around cosmetic systems in the last video, but I guess just as a general recap, I prefer that method of funding development beyond the base cost of the game, because let's be real, anytime you buy a, a game, it's not free additional content for years and years and years to come. That just doesn't exist. People charge for DLC expansion updates all these things so it's just about kind of what method they're using to fund that development this is the method that I prefer because I think it's better for the people who don't want to spend money they don't have to spend any money and they get all the relevant actual content free of charge and the people who do want to spend money on cosmetics they can and that funds all the future development that's a method that I prefer however I fully recognize acknowledge and agree that it might not be the fairest system because people do want these cosmetic items and they did already pay their $60. And if people feel like they don't really have a chance to get the things that they want without dropping even more money, that's the system not really working as well as it could because it still should feel fair 
to the people who do want to try to get those cosmetic items without spending money beyond the $60 that they already paid for the game. So I'm glad they're listening to feedback. I hope they continue to. And uh, finally, quickly, I just wanted to remind you guys that this is the free weekend for Overwatch starting today, lasting until the 29th. All of the heroes, all 14 maps, everything but competitive play is available free of charge. This is on every platform, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And any progress made during this weekend will be kept if you do end up buying the game. I'm assuming a lot of you watching this video probably already own the game, but if you have friends, family members, or whoever who you think might be interested, make sure you tell them it's a free weekend. They can download it and hop in and play for free. If they like it, they can pick it up and they'll keep all the progress that they made this weekend. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me here today. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought about any of the topics that we discussed here today in the comments section below. Hope you have a good one and until next time, I'll see you later.